construction complete. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll be good. Invasion commencing. That's what, seven buildings they have here? Six? I've always really liked this map. Let's go for an IDT and Raptor Troopers. Uh oh. We still haven't uh, fixed the issues with transports yet. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to be able to do that, or if we'll be able to do that. But be just because of the team groupings. But we'll see what we can do with it. Uh, they probably will get scout bikes. Yeah. And I'm good, Michael. How are you? Okay, don't worry about them at all. Just go drop stuff off. Unit destroyed. That's not good. That's much better. This is such a small landing pad. I don't think there's really anything up here either. I was really hoping these wouldn't still be here when I put my artillery up. Here. Let's move out. Block them. Roger that. Kill him. Oh, there is a base up here. That sucks. Is this where the shield generator, or not the shield generator, the other thing is... Let's get you up here, you up here, you up here. Please, 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 please be the shield generator, or the... Nope, it's not. Go back here. Perfect. AT AT ready. I got me. Build TIE Fighters, TIE Bombers for ground attacks? No, we would never give them TIE Bombers on ground. That's like permanent bombing run. That would be ridiculous. If we can't find a decent airspeeder for different faction, or for Imperials, we may give them, uh... We may give them TIE Fighters. Over there. Acknowledged. 
As stuff like the Providence, you'll see whether or not we're going to do it when we announce the Speeding full unit list for stuff. On my way, sir. Again, I'm not just going to give away the entire unit list, especially for factions that aren't done yet. So, Walker moving out. patience. Unit destroyed. Unit Form destroyed. Up. As you wish, General. Initiate sweep. Activating. Keep going. I will say that the whole idea of the Providence Destroyer, like the Dreadnought version, is I'm pretty sure just a retcon of a mistake someone made in one episode of the cartoon. So there's pretty much no chance we'd ever do that. Actually, no, I think I remember the, the note for it. It was... One offhand mention in a central guide to warfare. It's never been in anything else. There's no reason to do it for anything. Coordinates. Deploying. Firing. I've got them on scopes. There they are. I'm not even sure why they made that choice. Roger that. Scanning for enemies. Initiate sweep. I copy. Fall out, troops. Attack that target. Form up. They are in my sights. Unit destroyed. Setting course. Choose your reinforcements. Get these guys over here. It's also not the Clone Wars, so... Something that would have been even super rare then, considering how little it appeared in anything wouldn't really be around anymore. Keep going this way. Over there. Acknowledged. Destination set. Proceeding to target. Affirmative. OEAW. You just can't even tell they're shooting at a wall. There we go. Taking over the entire Hapes Cluster. And all it lost, or all it took, was a bunch of land units. That one CIS Admiral did what? Building under construction. Star Destroyer reporting in. Heading out. Location confirmed. All right, so we're going to make that second fleet, Construction. or third fleet, I guess, fourth, because we have one, two, three, four, um, Zinj's supporting fleet doesn't really have too much going on for it, so we'll go for there. Do you just leave me alone? Yeah, but I'm not sure uh, what he's saying. He probably is talking about Trench, but I'm not sure what he's saying he did. 
because keep in mind the Clone Wars is like 30 years before the mod so like Trench has been dead for a long time and again it would have been uncommon even in the, the days when the CIS was a thing and these people were alive to have that larger version of the Providence it wasn't very common uh, the only note I've seen for it was actually from Essential Guide to Warfare so considering that it was not common then 35 years later when the tech is super outdated a lot of that's been destroyed and this is sort of the leftovers that they're using uh, to the extent that they're using any of it like we already have a huge overrepresentation of Clone Wars tech we're not like we're not looking to just throw in every variant of every Clone Wars unit ever uh, and we've already done essentially that with well, almost like everything else like you can probably rearrange it and make at least half the roster of a CIS or Republic fleet out of what we have, and that's really not what we're trying to do here. The victory crews are ready. Enemy fleet approaching. Okay, we're gonna have to defend at Yavin. Tactical battle imminent. Okay, so they have one of their heroes after us. Five Psychators, an ISD, IPV, okay. He wasn't alive during the Galactic Civil War. He survived uh, his ship blowing up the first time, but then he died later in the Clone Wars. This is Grand Admiral Picati Sin. Uh, the Maldrood has to recruit him from Kashik, so they're not necessarily guaranteed to get him. Right, we've got a ton of anti-fighter stuff here. For once. Weapons Get our fight. Nope. No. Go back. Go back. He's a Grand Admiral, so it's uh, he's going to be giving a pretty significant bonus to their forces, so we're going to want to take that out as soon as possible. Looks like we should be able to take him out pretty fast. I want to get the, uh, the CR-90s actually taking out the fighters still. Because they won't be doing proportionally enough damage against the uh, against the Grand Admiral here. And it looks like we're going to be okay as far as taking him out for us. So this is uh, Grand Admiral Picati Sin. Uh, I think at this point his ship name is Siluth. Um, at this point he would have technically, uh, when Endor happened he was more or less still affiliated with Izards or uh, Sate Pestages section of the Empire, so the real Empire or the ruling council section. Uh, but he was, he was stayed with uh, Kashik most of the time, he was stayed on Kashik most of the time, he was super devoted to the Church of the Dark Side, but when the New Republic attacked Kashik, he asked for help from Greater Maldrood. So essentially what we're saying for Maldrood is like, if you go and rescue him, you get to keep him. Your 
Where are those CR9? Are they all dead? I hope they're not all dead. No, they're right here. Okay, we're doing we're doing all right over here. Let's go over there. There, Gladiator. It doesn't necessarily mean the other Grand Admirals are in. Like, he's still like a tertiary character at best. So, uh, simply being important relative to him doesn't necessarily mean we'd be including anyone. Uh, essentially, we're, we're just looking for decent hero options for the factions that don't have them, which are essentially uh, really just Maldrude at this point. Everyone else is fairly well off for them, even Araidu. But, uh, so, because he was, he starts off close to Maldrud. He had a relationship with Shooting Teradoc of some form. Uh, so, like he was to some extent willing to work with him, even though like his main concern was uh, his whole religious thing, and he was technically affiliated with uh, the Sate Pested section more so than anyone else. But most of the other Grand Admirals tended to just sort of go off on their own and immediately blow up. Like, I think it was Makati and Botch, or it might have been Tegillinus, but they went and blew up. Uh, like, they just flew into each other, had their own small fleets. I don't know, I don't think that was Botch. That was Grunger and Takati? Makati? But, yeah, and then uh, there were people like Ishinil Raz who were never really good at anything to begin with, and just sort of faded into obscurity. Or, uh, we already have, for the Penicillin, we have Grand Admiral Grant. But... We typically only give more engine hard points to uh, ships that are significantly larger. Alright, so that's most of that. CR-90s are really paying off in this battle. Michael, Admiral Trench had been killed by then. He survived the first time his ship blew up, but he was still killed later in the Clone Wars. He wasn't a lot, like, he'd been dead again for 30 years by the time the mod starts. Uh, the Bellator will probably have two, the Executor. And ships of that size will probably have three. Choose your reinforcements. Uh, 
Let them retreat. This was them attack. Yeah, this is Yavin. So this was them attacking us. All right, successful defense. Yay! Take out a hero. That's good. Constructing. Uh, yeah, like I said, the executor will get three. Save here. Yeah, Michael Trench, his ship blew up. He survived that, and then he became all cyborgy. But then at the Battle for Anaxes, uh, he died again. Like, he, he blew up. Construction complete. 